Hello everybody, my name is Katemore. Welcome back for another video of Itch Hiker. We're gonna uh, we're coming back to this game. Right where we last left off. Pretty weird uh, stuff happened at the uh, at the end of the video and stuff like that. So we're trying to remember who we are. Apparently we're just somebody hitchhiking this car. Which is very weird, like uh, a random person. Apparently I, I got a feeling I'm a ghost or something. I probably am. But uh, anyway, this guy uh, just asked me if I wanted a raisin, boys. How about I don't get any other raisins? Last time I took one, I almost I was on drugs or something. So ain't no way I'm uh, going on drugs again. You sure? You just need to get used to them. I'm not gonna get used to them, buddy. Life is like a box of raisins. Oh God, hey, here we go. That's some Forrest Gump type wisdom for you right there. Here, I'll leave the box open for you. Help yourself. Dude, I'm not taking any raisins. What is wrong with you? What what's it with you and raisins, man? I swear, boys. Oh look at this. What's going on here? Look at all these birds, boys. That's kind of crazy. And I gotta tell you, I do actually really like this game so far at least. Look, it's a pretty good game. Hooded crows all along this road. I have to chase these for my farm every harvest. Do you now? Well, you just gave me you just you just gave me something to do, buddy. How You're about I continue mistake, that? Kid. You don't know where they're taking you. Oh, really? Look, uh, do I'll I help you? I'll help you figure out what happened when she came back from Europe. <laughs> no way, well, you're trying to deceive me. Oh, okay, I'll stick to you. Nah, no, nah, I think I'm gonna get the fuck out of this car, my guy. I don't Look, trust I get you. That you're mad. And I don't blame you. But you don't know what's out there, kid. Oh, don't what I. Drivers on this road are like, stay with me, and things will play a whole lot safer. Oh, really? Really? I want to know the truth, my guy. I just want to know the truth. That's all that matters. I came here and you started as, uh, doing all sorts of weird stuff. I want to get the hell out of here and go with uh, another stranger instead, man. All right. I guess you made your choice. Don't yeah. blame me for what happens next. I won't blame you. All right. So yeah, now I definitely made my choice. Taken control of the car. What are they? Where are they taking us? How do crows take control of a car? That's yeah. That's my question. I don't know, Copernicus. Why don't you ask them? All right. So they're leading me to a new, a new place, boys. Where are we now? This looks oddly familiar. We're at my farm, Copernicus. I had a funny feeling. The moment you looked through those binoculars. So this is your farm? What do they want exactly? Well, they're pulling us around in circles. They're yeah, no the shit. I put up here last summer. They want to take us, take you, I suppose, to that windmill in the middle. Why would they want that? Rotate the scarecrows away from the crows. There's only way, one way for me to do that. Uh, it's got to have something to do with the car and stuff, right? Almanac, look. Binoculars, okay. So rotate the scarecrows. Oh, that's how you turn them. Okay. Okay, turn that one. Turn that one. Turn that one right now. Okay, so yeah, I got to turn whichever one is... Is the, the one closest to the car, I guess, is the one I can't turn right now. Okay, there we go. Next one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Almost okay. There. Almost there. I got only one left, boys. Only one left to do. Okay, I, I think I got it. Okay, I got it. No, no, no. There we go. I got it. And that was a complicated one. Holy shit. Couldn't figure out at first what I was supposed to do. I, uh, once I figured it out, though. I think it's for you. What? Why are you swearing, swearing for? All right, so there's the photo again. What is it? They have a way of leaving gifts once you've fed them. Often something shiny or a piece of string. The crows, they're helping me remember, I guess. So they bring back the photo round? I'll be back before you know it. It's practically a cliche, 
going to Europe to have new experiences, and yeah, it's corny, but maybe find myself. I guess I'm just worried that you'll find yourself but lose me along the way. I'll be back before you know it, promise. Here's a security deposit. What a weird box. Did you win this at the circus? It's great, right? I'll send you something special from Europe to put inside, so you know I'm thinking of you. And then we have our road trip together when I get back. You won't miss me anyway. You have plenty to keep you busy. Like that job in California. The story about the... The Vanishing Grave Chronicles. You're right. I'm worrying too much. I love it. Does it lock? In some other world, it must. But not here. Okay, trade you a memory box for your Polaroid. Say cheese. So we have some sort of connection with that woman. Uh, I'm not sure how much of a connection we have. Well, is this like a friendship type of thing or is this started. further than that? I don't know, boys. Easier, All I know is the woman in the photo is in trouble. I need to find her. All I need to find out what, uh, no, I need to find out what took my memories. What happened to me? Yeah, exactly. I need to have, uh, know what happened to me. Because I don't care what happened to I her. She's in Europe for all I care. What about me? Trip? But I like you, kid, and I can see you've made up your mind. If you want to find your girlfriend, if you want to find out what happened, if you really want to go there, you've got to find that box. What box? Okay, but how? It could be anywhere. What? What makes you so sure about that? For all it could be, it could be, it could not be a box. It could be literally like a circle or something. I don't Personal know. Personal experience, kid. Really? Don't make the same mistake I did. What if I want to make the same mistake? Well, you don't make the choices for me, buddy. Say goodbye. Unless you want to help transport four bushels across. Nah. Just remember, there are many more gates ahead and many more guards. I'm pretty much the friendly drunken uncle of the bunch. Whatever you say, well, dude. Good luck to you, kid. So I'm guessing oh, that's how it's going to happen. It's going to itch like a bunch of different cars. I'm guessing every time the driver is a new guard or something. What is it? More advice? What is it? What did the grape say when he got run over by the car? You got to be kidding me. Something about a date? Nothing. He just gave a little wine. Very funny, dude. Good luck with your search. Just keep go finding new, uh, new ways of uh, spinning uh, that, spinning that uh, that one around, huh? Alrighty then, ride number two, boys. We did our first ride. It looks like there's five of them. That's pretty cool. So five chapters, basically. We just completed the first one. Uh, this guy at, the, at first seemed like a go uh, a good dude. Well, I, at the be, at the end of it, it seemed like the guy, type of guy who just wanted to tell me what to do and not let me do what like uh, my own decisions. So fuck him, man. I, I'm I'm uh, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen here for the second ride. Let's go with him or Oregon. Who's my next driver? Patrick Hopper. It's gonna be interesting to see what uh, what he's all about. What's the uh, what's going to be able to tell me about my uh, no way, my past, boys? Third. Don't you remember where it is? I thought you spent your whole childhood here. Do you know what put us on top of the food chain? Do you know? And please don't say opposable thumbs. Plenty of animals have those. Uh, possum, koalas. Something called the Waxy Monkey Leaf Rock. They're nothing special. Forget about thumbs, okay? Memory is what put us here. So many of our dreams are set in the places where we used to live. We want to see them, visit them again. There should be a rule, a kind of a social convention. The old apartment rule now works like this. We can show up any place we used to live and simply explain, oh, I used to live here. There's nothing strange about it. The people who live there throw open their doors and invite us in to have a look around. So we can go back home again. 
So we can roll. Hey, are you keeping an eye out? Oh dear. I didn't mean to put you to sleep with my talking. Well, well, well. My next Uber boys. Look at this. My next taxi driver, my guy. What are you all about? Sorry, I guess I dozed off. What am I supposed to be looking for exactly? Yeah, that's... I don't know what I'm looking for here, buddy. Uh, we're looking for Asper Street. And uh, at least it used to be called that. The problem Asper is, Street. is that a few years ago, they rearranged all the letters of the street signs in this uh, neighborhood. Very important. Okay, so how am I supposed to know? I don't even know this place. I didn't catch your name. I'm hops, really. How did I get here? No, I'm not even. Uh, I'm not even uh, gonna ask. To be honest, I'm just gonna say. Uh, yes, that's make fun of his uh, name, I guess. Everyone except my students, of course. The students, your teacher, I guess. All right. Just a second. Let's find this Asper Street, please, before we begin our inquiries. Like I All said, right. they might have rearranged the letters a bit. Okay, so remember the letters might be jumbled up. Okay, so we're looking for Aspel Street. So I gotta look around while he's driving. I gotta look for Apple Asp uh, Aspel Street or something, boys. Very interesting. What about this Ashland uh, Ave? What about the De uh, Dewey, Spear Street, Franklin Street? Uh, let's just keep uh, going around. You can go around, buddy. You drive and uh, you drive us around, and I'll find out. Uh, where to go, I guess. Aspel Street, Dalton Street, Rape Street. What about the uh, Dalton Street? What about, uh, where are we right now? In which one? I guess we're going that way. So he's just driving around. We're tr trying to find the right street. That's an interesting one. All right, Reap Street. Is that, would be that one? Yes, that's it. Very good. Okay, so it would be that one. So because they changed it, it kind of sounded now, similar, boys. So I just took that one. Something you wanted to ask. Uh, you're the next guard, right? Why is why is your car so messy, by the way? Yeah. Well, what can I say? I like to hold on to things. Always give yourself the option to look back. That's what I say. Keep your eye on the rearview mirror. You, my friend, should know that best of all. Have we met? What makes you say that exactly? Yeah. Why, why should I, of all people, know We're that? All looking for something on this road. Not I really. Met anyone who wasn't. Well, what if I am not looking for anything? What if I'm just here for the ride, buddy? My dog. You're trying to well, find your dog. For a long time now. Don't you have any posters of her or anything? What's her name? Maybe she got bored of your lectures. Exactly. <laughs> oh yes, Vern said you were pretty funny. So, oh, so you do know Vern, huh? Mention this problem you have uh, with a photo. I'll show you the photo. Wait, you you know the raisin farmer guy? Vern, sure. Now, I know almost everybody on this road. Well, there's not many of us after all. Excellent raisins that guy Vern has. Did you try one? Uh. I prefer grapes. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Sound philosophy, but most people do. Yeah, a more appealing lens to view the world through. So, okay, show me this photo. All right, sure. It's in my backpack, I guess. Let me show it to you. All right, there's a photo, buddy. Show to the driver. So you're looking for her. What happened to her? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. I don't know what happened. I guess I lost her. Have you seen her? can help you with one part you two came by my house yes see that's that's my silo there in the background okay you have a grain silo in your back uh, backyard yes <laughs> i've got a lot of dogs after a while the kitchen got completely full well, i'm not very good at getting rid of things as you can see anyway i invited you two in and put the kettle on the stove but you never wound up making it to the front door they were some kind of argument. Argument? Oh, all right. No, no, just you two doing the arguing. Uh, she suddenly had to take a call. You got impatient. 
All right, so it doesn't sound like we're actually really that good of friends then, or we're really that good of a couple. Sounds like a pretty lame argument. Who, who was the call from? Yeah, it sounds like a pretty lame argument to me. Well, I got the feeling there was something more behind it. Oh, really? But, you know, who knows? Relationships between adult humans are not my strong suit. Me neither, buddy. I, I want to find her. Can you help? Where did he, Where did we head afterwards? Do you know? I just want to know where we headed. I don't care about her specifically. Why don't you just ask her yourself. You haven't asked me yet where we're headed. Oh, that's right. Well, where are we headed? The warehouse of lost things. That sounds ominous. More confused. Sounds like a discount store. <laughs> oh, look. It's this warehouse that contains everything you've ever lost in your life. You can find anything there. Oh, really? Felix, but you only get 15 minutes to look. Only 15 minutes to look? What type of store is that, buddy? Uh, that's enough. Uh, that's not enough time. It really threw me the last time I was there. Uh, I got distracted by some mittens. Yeah, I had as a kid. Left them at a bus stop sometime in the mid 60s. After that, my parents bought those things that clip your mittens to your coat so it wouldn't happen again. No, I mean, how can that be exactly? Uh, why not? Shamanic tribes of the Amazon believe that in order to heal, you have to journey into the other world, find the thing you've lost among the spirits, and bring it back. Now, and to think about all the things we misplace. Atlantis, huh? And no, no, we lost an entire city once. Why shouldn't we get a second chance just to go back and retrieve some of the things we left behind? Well, that sounds like an intriguing question, my guy. But the thing is, there's already people working on that. You know, I don't feel like it's our place to try and dig up pa the past. We gotta live to the future. So you think we sh uh, she will uh, she will be there? How far is it exactly? Yeah, how far is there? Now, if I remember correctly, it's only about another 20 minutes from here. A 20? Tw okay, 20 minute ride, boys. We're on for a while here. He just gave me the plot, basically. The chapter, the length of the chapter. That's kind of funny. Alright, so tap the driver to continue the conversation. Sure, why not? Yo, buddy, I'm ready to go. I like the how it works, though, the game, where you ba it basically gives you uh, uh, directions as to... there's um, In the middle of the chapters, there's literally a stop and everything. And uh, you can basically end your video and stuff. It's kind of cool. A cool little uh, way of doing things. You seem ag agitated, my guy. Am I doing something wrong to you? Wondering about this green light. Are you one of what, these this? people who's good with cars? Not really. I don't drive. I was hoping you might know. I never saw it before until you got into the car. You have a manual someplace? Should we stop and look at the engine, I guess? What? Us? Stop here. No, I, I think we'll wait to find a mechanic someplace. Perhaps that part-time quiz show hostess. Oh, no. Ah, See, she's not a mechanic. Green light. She's yeah, just a hulk. Uh, a hawk, my guy. You you don't want to deal us. with her. Yes, I suppose you've read The Great Gatsby, too. There's probably nothing major. Just a reminder to get something checked. But what do I know? I'm not the technical sort. Next thing you know, the car is gonna oh, explode. We could ask Lola. Well, she's Who's the fuck is Lola? Yeah, who who is that? Lola's a kind of oracle. She's given me lots of good advice, right from where you're sitting. Besides, more to the point, I'd like to check with her about directions, just to make sure we're pointed the right way. See if you can find her here. So you don't know where you're going, and your car's all making uh, some weird light. You don't know what to do about it. You're a strange. Uh, you're a stranger, all right. I'm looking for a woman named Lola. She's hiding in this car. Uh, she's hiding in this car, my guy. Well, she's quite small, you see. A toy bear. A now toy bear. To okay. Bear in Barcelona sure. In 1929, at an exhibition about alchemy, Lola Montes. Mm. But she's somewhere in this car now. Feel free to rummage around as much as you need. All right, so I gotta find a bear. 
Is it in your back, uh, in your back or whatever? Is it in your, um, in your pockets, my guy? You got something in your pockets? I don't know. Well, where, where would the bear be? I can't go into the glove box or anything, boys. Um, what about this? Fortune, you will soon be hungry again, okay? Well, I don't, I legit don't know, boys. Where would I find a, a bear? Oh. That stuff on the, floor and see if you can locate her. the book. Is that where you're going to find something? A key? Hmm. So the key to the glove box, is that it? Interesting. Looks familiar. It's probably the key for the glove box, boys. Let's just open it. There she is. Well, there he is. Ah, where, there she is. Lola. Put her on the glove box, lid, my boy. That's where she likes to speak. Place on the glove box. All right. All right. So inspect her. We got like a uh, eaten apple. That's kind of disgusting, my guy. You really need to clean your car off. Uh, I find that hard to believe. Oh, but I assure you, she does. Now watch this. Lola Dearest. Now I'm here with this young fellow here, and well, the warehouse. Now it's left up here on Concord Avenue, right? She's not ready to talk yet. I think you're crazy, my guy. Is that uh, you're is, something's wrong with you? Is there something we do? Is there something we can do? She's lonely. And she misses her friends. Her friends? What kind of friends? Oh, you and I aren't good enough company, I guess. Uh, it's nothing personal. We're just not magical. Magical. All right. Look, dude, That's I think you're lost it about now. Trinkets, blind crazy ass driver boys found many times over the years imbued with the memories of everyone who's ever claimed them as their own get enough of them together and things start to get interesting the present moment peels back like wallpaper to reveal the past behind it and the future ahead so this bear can tell the future huh her and her friends yes she's well, that's she what a nowhere call is all about, I guess, boys. It makes sense. What's your dog's name? The one who's missing. Hops. Like me. Stupid idea. Naming a dog after yourself. <laughs> they constantly so your the dog has the same name as you? Okay. You know Maybe you are the dog. Made her a little bit high strung. How long she's been missing for, exactly? Well, about nine months. Well, no, I, I couldn't look for her these last months. I got a bit detained. Detained by what? Yes. It all started when I was buying some tube socks. I was on the escalator, trying to leave the mall. Do you ever have that thing where you buy something and you know it's the right thing, but you start worrying about it just as you're leaving? No. I was staring at the socks. When I buy something, I make sure I buy the right now, thing. I knew they were. I don't make that mistake, man. I got my money is, uh, is important. Because suddenly, I slipped down that crack at the end of the escalator, right where you're supposed to step off. Seriously? This, uh, this is even stranded in a talking bear, my guy. Yes, exactly the thing kids are always worrying about, getting sucked down the escalator. Okay, you're really stupid, aren't you? How does that even happen? Well, first quite quickly, and then very slowly. Before you know it, you are banging around in this chute, and then you land at the Bowling Green. That's what they call the entrance. That's a little area with some onboarding materials and that fake grass carpeting, so the landing isn't so rough. It's the most fantastic place under the escalator. Just vast. Like falling out of bed and landing on the moon. I'll just see you for now, boys. We're going to end it right here. We're going to see uh, what happens next. I'm very intrigued. I'm not going to lie. But this is an interesting t story. A very interesting story. I don't know what the hell is happening. We're trying to find that girl. Uh, that apparently is our girlfriend or something. We're trying to find her. or We have to talk to a bunch of different drivers in order to do that. Uh, this driver in particular is kind of a strange one. Seems like a crazy dude. We'll see, though. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.